In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add several integers together in one problem. As we do, we're going to steal a trick from order of operations, which tells us when we're adding several numbers, we need to work from left to right. So let's see if we can do a few problems working left to right, adding several integers together. Here we have negative 5 plus 2 plus negative 7 plus 9. However, we only need to focus on the first two numbers, negative 5 plus 2. We have different signs, and since the negative number is bigger, our answer is going to be negative. To find out how many negatives, we subtract 5 minus 2 to get 3. The rest of the problem is still plus negative 7 plus 9. Still working from left to right, we're doing negative 3 plus negative 7. Both these numbers are negatives, and so what we have is lots of negatives together in a pot. Keep the negative, and how many negatives are together, 3 plus 7 is 10. The rest of the problem still reads plus 9. Finally, we get to the last addition, negative 10 plus 9. We have different signs, a negative and a positive, so we look at the bigger one, the negative being larger. We'll have negatives left over, and to find out how many negatives, we can subtract 10 minus 9 to get 1. Our final solution is negative 1. Let's try another problem where we work from left to right using all of our rules for adding negatives or integers. In this problem, negative 6 plus negative 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus negative 2, the operation on the far left is negative 6 plus negative 3. Because they're both negative, it means we have lots of negatives together. Still negative, 6 and 3, there's a total of 9 negatives together. The rest of the problem's still the same, plus 5 plus 8 plus negative 2. Next, working left to right again, we have negative 9 plus 5. Here, we have a negative and a positive. Different signs, so the larger will keep its sign. The negative is larger, so the negatives will outlast the positives. By how much, we subtract 9 minus 5 to get 4. Negative 4 left over. Rest of the problem still reads, plus 8, plus negative 2. Continuing to work from left to right, we have negative 4 plus 8. We have a negative and a positive, or different signs. The larger number will keep its sign, the positive, because the 8 is larger than 4, and then we subtract the numbers, 8 minus 4, to get 4. The rest of the problem still reads plus negative 2. Finally, doing our last addition, we have a positive and negative number. The larger number keeps its sign, the positive, because 4 is larger than 2, and we subtract the numbers 4 minus 2 to get 2 for our final solution. Technically, the positive in front is not needed. We could just say the answer is 2. Working with several integers, we simply add from left to right, keeping in mind that if the signs match, we add and keep the sign, and if the signs are different, the larger number keeps the sign, and we subtract the numbers.